Okay, let's move. <coughs> sorry. Okay, let's move on now. We're gonna be seeing VTY here versus uh, CV. So it's a victory versus CV. I'm not quite sure what CV meant, but air selection spawn we go. We're gonna be having Cilia here from Scars previously. Previously, if I'm not wrong, versus Victory, CX Hero, Xiao Xiao, and Zed. Overall, Dream Witch first pick. Hmm, Dream Witch first pick actually isn't bad. I mean, like. Uh, against 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 priestess with the long portal, maybe it'll, it's a little bit annoying. But uh, the acrobat here is probably the reason why they decide to get. Uh, well, no, the, the the acrobat pick is probably a prediction that it'll be an opera singer. But it seems like it's gonna be a dream, which at the end of the day. But acrobat near two story area, well near small boat is overall still great though, especially vaulting them from small boat here. So overall, you know the map is great. The band picks are great. The drafts are basically quite viable against both Dreamwitch and um, Opera Singer. So there we go on that part, of course. Uh, but anyways, aside from that, we're going to be seeing CX Hero Z Xiao Xiao here with the Gardener Acrobat Priestess and of course the Wildling. It's basically a full female team. <laughs> Almost. You know what I mean. But uh, we're going to be seeing our three casters here. I'm quite sure... Uh, CX and Hero, no, I think Hero is a caster for Koa. Xiao Xiao, I don't see her much in the CN side. I think Xiao Xiao and CX are more of the, in well, Xiao Xiao is more of the interview side right now. CX is more, I think CX is more admin or side entertainment um, a part of the industry. I don't see her commentate much, but she does uh, interview players a lot. So there we go on that part. But anyways, on towards the game we go. Cilia, we know who Cilia is. So there's Dash on that side. And Zed is just uh, one of the other casters as well. Main caster. I don't see CX much. So I was just explaining things out a little bit there. But anyways, Hero here. First chase. Dreamwitch with Trump card detention. Max uh, Hunt. And we're going to be bringing one stack of Berserker as well. But of course, even if you do lock that Cypher machine. Uh, well, not Cypher machine. That window. Uh, it's going to we'll get a very fast register hit on here towards Acro. Bash, but I guess it's dream much at the end of the day, so you never really know what you could do. Uh, preferably here, if Gardner can come out with a body block, it'll be a little bit better. But it seems like Hedo putting on the pilot there could have definitely pulled a little more distance away from the area. But uh, it seems like Acro's main follower did stop right there as well. We weren't looking back really, but more, more, more or less, just a little bit more priority on. More priority on getting out of that area as soon as we can, but of course with a priestess's long portal right there as well We do see that Acro's leech is nearby, so we're gonna get rid of the long portal here immediately That's a lot of time wasted here for the survivor side, even though they do have two half cypher machines done right now But finding the acrobat here once again isn't gonna be too hard Especially with the fact that we can get him then in the next 20 seconds just just with a patroller Just with a patroller now the only issue comes off with the fact that um the leech is gone, so we're gonna have to really, really cheer a little bit sad, which is a little bit shed. But anyways, on towards that side as well, we are gonna be able to lock off Gardener Cypher Machine here, thankfully. But even with the Gardener Cypher Machine lock here immediately, no one currently has purple D leech marks just yet. So we're gonna have to keep high tabs on that. Most likely Wilding Wolf is gonna be the one that has to get the D leech marks right after the rescue. And then we're gonna see if Gardener is gonna be able to go towards the middle to get that D leech mark as well. But it seems like Gardener is gonna rotate away from this area. Main reason being the fact that you can't really decode there anymore, but we're still trying to play mind games here as much as we can. Celia here, very nicely done. Almost a terror shock hit, I wouldn't uh, doubt it, but uh, flywheel, window speed boost, both of these things are ready right now, but Hero on the other side. That's gonna be another blood ball, ball jump down, and we're gonna blink it down immediately. Very fast and precise movements, I would say, but it seems like Wiley is more or less opted out to go a little bit further away from the area, trying to get a bit of more cypher machine done. But even with that on mind right now, since three cypher machines has not popped just yet, and Wilding's gonna get leech here immediately. This is a pretty bad scenario here for Wilding, especially with the fact that he is going to have to get that purple D leech mark immediately and start de leeching. But it seems like for Wilding here, he well, Wilding was a little bit. Uh, what's the right word? Wilding was a bit scared let's say, to get that D leech mark, especially with the fact that he's going to half health there as well with no bore. Oh, well, I don't think Wiling can actually get D leech mark when, when he's on Mudo though, so... Well, I'm not really sure about that 
information we all will check it out later on but uh, on wilding side we're gonna move away immediately towards a little bit of a safer area but since priestess is able to come in and we're almost able to finish off four cypher machines here as well overall in this situation as long as priestess doesn't get double down everything seems fine now the flywheel was out from acro but i think it was a little bit too early it was not a bad flywheel especially with the fact that when there's portals nearby but it seems like for gardener right here we are going to be able to get a non-hit up well we, we weren't going to be able to dispel that leech which is a little bit unfortunate uh they could have rotated maybe a little bit closer towards big ball after the, the, the leech stopped moving i feel but even with this in mind right now priestess is the only one with the leech mark priestess um well priestess and gardener let's say we're gonna be able to leech on towards gardener right here which means that well this only means two things the first thing is um garden's half gonna have to de leech a land Ooh, very nice portal more or less silly, I kind of just uh, went through at the mob, but very nice portal. In this situation, you, you need both Wildling and Gardener to heal each other, not uh, the code, which is the very unfortunate timing of that. Especially with the fact that going against the Dream Witch when push pull is gonna matter the most here, especially. We're gonna be able to get that Gardener down, and it's currently a double down situation with basically almost four cypher machines done bit unfortunate priestess's portal is going to be coming out straight towards wiling right here but even with this in mind as well they are still going to have to heal which does take quite a bit of more time now we do see that c uh well not cx sorry we do see that is that wiling coming in no that's not okay they're all on the other side of a portal right now but seems like in this case scenario wiling did uh imagine 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 no it won't okay it's oh my god Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Man just went through the portal. Man was supposed to be getting rid of the... Ah, he got... Oh my god. This led to a pause. Wow. Wow. Cilia was supposed to be getting rid of the portal, but Wiling came in just on time. My lord. <laughs> GG's. GG's. Uh, but moving on a little bit closely, uh, I'm just trying to find the time when we resume. Mm -mm. Wait, I think we're going back a little bit more. My bad. Okay, Sidia so getting hit on towards Wiling there. I think that's game over. I do think that's game over. We're going to look for Priestess here immediately. Uh, trying to get rid of the portal here, but Priestess, uh, Priestess is just basically doing basic loops right now, which is fine. But even in this case scenario as well though, like Priestess is curling down, Wiling wants to come into rescue, Blink is ready up to go, even if Priestess can self heal relatively fast, I don't think it matters in that sense as well, especially with the fact that Wiling's leech is already coming back right behind the Wiling here, we aren't going to be able, well we are going to be able to hit the Wiling down and we're going to leech on towards Priestess here, lash on towards Priestess, that's going to be a two man share here immediately, but Priestess getting up here immediately and utilizing a portal, but sadly Blink is ready to go as well, therefore even in this situation no matter what happens it'll always end up as a formal mission anyway so we'll be moving on towards the second half without wasting any more time <sighs> sorry i'm sneezing a lot Okay, we're going to be having a victory TY coming out as Clown Round 1. Clown Round 1 here against Patience. It's going to be really hard, especially Small Boat Patient here. It's going to be really hard for you to play around in. But overall for this team, I feel like Geisha may have been better, especially with the fact that it's Aeroplaners and um, Patient Team Cup. But even with that in mind, we're going to be seeing Mosu. Oh, okay, sorry, I can't read your name, Cordy. Uh, Kematsu, Precor, and Naoya here against Tai TY. Not sure what his full name is, but um yeah I've seen quite I've seen him quite a lot when it comes to you know normal casters commentator. But with this side as well from uh C V Survivor side as you know what honestly C V Survivors are only the woman out. They can definitely tie this quite easily as well. Especially with the fact that like well, I mean, there's two of, well, not really. There's only one of them that counters Clown Dashes and it's and it's coordinator. But oh, well, you know, it's fine. Then, move on towards the game we go. We're going to be seeing a uh, flywheel on patience and then double tie turner here on both arrow and the. Uh, and then the mercenary, meanwhile, Cordy bringing in Windows speed boost. Meanwhile, for Clevin, it's going to be trunk card detention here, alongside which I think max stacks of destructiveness alongside with Berserker here. Then we're going to be able to pull our rockets here immediately. It seems like we decided to 
uh, deploy the shower head as well for slow healing. I guess in that case, since we want to slug for mid game, that's also fine. Now, from this side as well, we do see that TY is currently playing on PC here, but sadly, it seems like we are still going to be obstructed by that pallet there, which is a tiny bit unfortunate. But Kematsu is really close in nearby, but even if he is close in nearby right now, he should have more than enough time to rotate straight towards that one pallet area nearby as well. For our clown, that's a very nice decision making there, but it does seem like Patient does have a little in this situation as well. Now then, Patient is currently successfully up on two story, and the double pallet window here still hasn't been utilized by the patient yet. Therefore, this patient is a lost cause. You can't really chase after this patient anymore. So we're gonna be going out here immediately looking for the next nearby survivor. But if we think about this properly right, it's still Lakeside Village. It's still, you know, double it's still like you know small boat is an issue big boat is an issue shock is an issue and there's only one out there who's a mercenary who you know you may want to chase it but you probably don't you probably don't Cordy finishing off her cypher machines first especially with the fact that she's a rescuer but no rescue debuffs here thankfully because of the fact that I mean, you know, no one on chair just yet for that 25% decoding buff. but Cordy currently a broken shock here immediately. We do see that patient is nearby. We could potentially blink hit that, but um, you mean this situation right now, it's more, it's it's a re it's a huge lost cause here for TY. It's a lost cause here, because in small boat, as long as everyone is in position, and especially with the fact that it's characters like these that counters Joker in certain areas, it's going to be very hard for you to do much, sadly. Now, we are going to be able to cipher machines, the... So Hmm, what is it? The opening point here, right? The opening point here is we want to force we want to force uh aeroplane into an area in which it's hard for him to rotate in, but aeroplane still does have a hover though, which is a bit of an issue. But I guess for the survivor side, they realize that uh Smiley Face has already used four rocket dashes, two missed, one hit, and the fourth one has currently been deployed. Mercenary here is still trying to get off as fast as he can. But I feel like even for Mercy side right here, he could potentially just run in straight towards the corner and either force clown to come at him which you waste even more time and save one elbow pad for rebound kite or we can just blink him down immediately and it's almost foresight for machine well it is foresight for machines done if we accumulate it properly here as well but even with that in mind we're going to be able to get double hit here on towards the mercenary wanting max presence here especially with the fact that max presence allows you to have a faster rocket uh but even with that in mind you're going to be cheering near aeroplanist Cordy hasn't finished her cypher machine just yet, but like even from Aeroplane's point of view right now, they don't necessarily have to use Tide Turner just yet. Now in this in this sense as well, since they're not wanting to use Tide Turner, then it means that they're either trying to No, they heard no 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 they heard Trump card, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So if they heard Trump card, then that means they're not using Tide Turner, but it seems like they're gonna come in with Tide Turner here anyway. So we're gonna be able to see Mercenary rushing off immediately. Meanwhile, Aeroplanus has already hovered away straight towards Cordy right here. Aeroplanus most likely will be running back, but even if Mercenary downs in this area, it genuinely speaking doesn't even matter because just by looking at the, well, just by looking at this area right now, honestly, honestly, um, quite hard for the survivors here to do much really yeah, it's actually quite hard for the survivors here to do much even in well not survivor for the hunter here to do much because you're gonna rush between small boat and broken shack it's quite a bit of a distance to play around and especially in your middle as well where kematsu is just utilizing all his flywheels brilliantly there as well we're gonna see the second hook out immediately but we still do have one last hook for late game so um, Exegate wise, you know, there's only 70% cipher machine remaining and you do have an aeroplane with a 3% decoding buff as well there. So, well, I mean, we also do have accelerated decoding, so it is relatively fast compared to the average survivor. Now, a 90% cipher machine here immediately, we could see Cordy coming into rescue, but... But even if they do, right, you can just pop the cypher immediately since there's no detention. We heard the trump cards, uh, trash, so... For the survivors, honestly, they can, they can pop right after they rescue patient off chair. Honestly, they can yeah, they can just pop right after the rescue patient off chair here. So what is going to happen here is we're gonna be seeing Cordy come in to rescue here immediately. We're not gonna waste any more time. We could potentially pop here immediately. We would pop here Im immediately. Sally Mercenary didn't use self heal there, or else it definitely would have been a max health mercy. Wait a second, it's detention. Oh, trump card detention. Ah, uh, I thought it was instance trump card. My bad. My bad. GG's. Uh, a little bit dumb for me. 
But anyways, even in this sense as well, we do have detention. Who are we looking for? We're looking for Precore here, who is the Mercy. But even with Mercy side right now, we aren't going to be able to get a hit right there. But thankfully, we're going to be we're going to be able to go through those narrow areas because sheesh, that's hard for a clown to rotate around in. But um, even in this sense as well, we are going to be down a little bit further away. We don't have the tension. Well, no, actually, we do have the tension. But even with Cordy's gun there, I guess it's better to get your three-man escape and get as much as possible here. I mean, even with that in mind as well, if we do get a teleportation out, then I guess, then I guess whoever's in the middle is going to benefit from this benefit from this a lot, though. Well, even with that in mind, we're going to be able to pull that full rocket here immediately, and. And all survivors are currently out. Let's congratulate CV for winning the first game. Moving on towards the second.